I prefer to speak about innovative leadership and I will try to explain let's say what's the logic behind because I, I consider creativity as a kind of applied imagination and innovation as a applied creativity it means uh, it means only if it's if it's realized the creativity we, we get the innovation and in companies you know you can have a lot of creative people but if they cannot bring it to the end if they cannot apply the creativity let's say in daily work yep. uh, it doesn't it doesn't work only that's why I like the concept of innovative innovative leadership more than creative leadership I principally believe and I I'm, I'm sure that actually you had a chance to read books like from Daniel Pink and uh, we are getting in the in the times when actually kind of creativity and innovation will be extremely important if any company would like to would like to succeed it means we are getting in times when there is abundance there is uh, so many products and if we don't come up with products which are becoming a matter of desire instead of matter of choice uh, then th those companies will not be succeeding and and for this creativity is needed for this innovation is needed and uh, uh, therefore, I drive it in my company myself, and uh, it it works well. I think so. I actually, I'm I'm one of the biggest critiques of or guys they they critique uh, in in my corporation in Shreem, and and I do it with faith because I believe corporation can innovate. And I believe that actually corporations at the moment, some people say there is a four stage of, you know, or four wave of innovations. And, and the wave is corporations, if they apply uh, something what the startups can do, techniques like lean canvas, uh, the, the corporations will again be capable to, uh, let's say, to innovate and bring clever things, let's say, uh, to the earth. There is so much know-how, there is so much R&D, there is so much knowledge. And if this is combined, with the agility of startups, of the new techniques the startups are using, innovation, uh, the corporations will be again, let's say, capable to innovate. There are actually, let's say, good examples. I mean, already GE is very much combining their old business model uh, with utilization of Lean Canvas. Uh, Novartis is doing the same, or Unilever is actually kind of doing the same. They are, they are having people which are like change agents which are kind of a driving within the corporations, you know, the business models they learned in startups. And the corporations will have to change. They will have to do this desperate change. Otherwise, they will die. This is absolutely obvious. And some did already. <laughs> some did die already. Who died? I mean, if you like Kodak and Polaroid, it means big companies, they actually, their business model was based purely on R&D. And they have not noticed the change. They have not noticed that they have to kind of reinvent themselves. They just die. Look at Nokia. <laughs> Let's see. Look at Nokia. I mean, such a great, such a great company. But they were so internally focused. Let's say at the very end, and so blind, they haven't seen what's going on. Yeah. In this respect, 3M has little advantage because we have 35 divisions. We would have to screw up significantly to die. But anyhow, we will have to also as a 3M. We will have to reinvent ourselves completely.